Okay, James wants to hear about the origin of dinner time. Not too many people know this, but dinner time was invented uh, in the 1950s. Um, right about the same time as when Under God went into the Pledge of Allegiance. Uh, it was actually a measure to fight the communists because in Russia they did not have dinner. Um, they didn't have the money for that much food and the people, the, you know, the, the smart people at the CIA said, hey, we could bankrupt Russia if we get them eating a third meal a day, they don't have the money to supply a third meal. So uh, the United States uh, and its allies, of you know, the free world, implemented this third meal called dinner. Uh, they decided to put it after lunch. There was some initial debate whether it should be before breakfast uh, or between breakfast and lunch, but you know, the, uh, the church moms were all like, hey, no, no, we already have brunch. You can't take brunch away from us. We need those brunches to sell, you know, to raise money for our churches. So they're like, okay, we don't want to mess with the church moms. So they're like, you know what? Let's put this meal, like, just before you go to sleep. And some scientists were like, you know, it's not good to eat a big meal right before you go to sleep. You kind of get fat. And uh, they were like, fuck it. We got we to gotta beat the communists at any cost. So they invented the meal of dinner. And uh, they started calling kids home for a dinner um, like around 6, 7 p.m. Uh, and people would come home and they'd eat this big, big meal. Uh, with meat and potatoes and lots of high fat and high carb foods and oh everybody loved it they loved it it was delicious but America had the money to spend the economy went through the roof uh, that's how the greatest generation got its name not from taking people to the moon but from the invention of dinner and um, the communists I mean Russia is like fuck now we've got to feed our people three meals a day instead of two. And they're trying. They're, they're, the lines are getting longer for the toilet paper because more dinner means more toilet paper too. It's just, you know, what goes in has to come out. So the, their, their toilet paper lines got longer and longer. And fuck it, after about 30, 35 years, uh, communism fell. Uh, some people give the credit to uh, Ronald Reagan uh, for outspending them for the Cold War, but the the real real winner was um, Chester A. Dinner, who named dinner after him himself. He invented the meal, and um, dinner saved us from communism, but it made us overweight as a nation and. Obesity is now plaguing the planet. I personally am looking if I can start a class action lawsuit against uh, Chester, Chester A. Dinner's uh, descendants um, because clearly I've become a victim of his dinner meal because um, I'm overweight. So... Uh, I have to find a lawyer who can take it. Uh, it's very hard to find a lawyer who's willing to go after someone uh, that was a national hero, although not in the textbooks, because if the communists ever come back, um, we're going to add a fourth meal and uh, a fifth meal and however many meals we need, because we know we can outspend and outproduce them for food, thanks to Monsanto and GMOs and all that good stuff. So that is how dinner began in the 1950s to fight the communists and it saved America, it saved the world. God bless America, God bless Chester A. Dinner and now you know 
the rest of the story. Kapla.